After months of hard graft, the building site that used to occupy Portishead Pier has now been transformed into the RNLI's latest fully functioning lifeboat station. Well, it's absolutely fantastic to be here. Um, we've been so well supported by the community and, of course, all our volunteers, who, uh, without whom none of this would be possible, and the RNLI, who've invested so much in, uh, in enabling this new lifeboat station to be built. The building was started a year ago, April last year. The old building was knocked down, um, the old Masonic Lodge that was here, uh, and the building of this started. And uh, of course, it's just been finished, and um, we became operational on Friday. Before the concept of this new station was confirmed, the Portishead lifeboat was not actually part of the RNLI fleet. So, what are the benefits that are due to emerge from becoming the latest expansion of this lifeboat charity? Well, I, I think our biggest advantage is having the backing of the RNLI, and I, I don't just mean money, I mean all the technical support and the training that they're able to provide. The RNLI has 191 years of experience in running lifeboats, um, and it's tremendous to have that behind us. The weather here today in Porter's Head is fair, but since the team opened the station on Friday, there's been no time to let their guard down. Day one we were practicing and within the first hour we were, we were called away and then uh, on the Saturday we had our blessing for the crew, we blessed the boat uh, and uh, that was done by our chaplain and uh, an hour later we launched and we were called out again. Um, so yes, twice and that was during the first week of training really. So I think efficiency is, is the one we've got to focus on, you know, we were really slick outfits, uh, um, honed over decades down to our other slipway. So that's something that we've got to focus on uh, here to make sure we can get back up to that. I mean, you don't don't get there in two weeks, but you know, this, it's the same crew, it's the same shore crew. So I should think that'll come along very quickly. And then it's just repeating it, repeating it, um, because you never know when you're middle of the night, three in the morning, pitch black, it's all got to operate. So that's it's really just uh, continually to hone it and improve it every month. A massive bonus to this new facility is the comfort it provides to the volunteers who work here. Well, it's uh, um, comfortable all round. Um, I got confused the other day because I had a choice of three toilets to choose from. I wouldn't know where to head. But I mean, we've got kettles, we've got um, a dry area. We can, you're not standing on a crate in, um, in the cold um, and then uh, nowhere to go and really sit with the team to debrief. Here we've got a classroom, a crew room, we've got a changing rooms, it's heating. I mean, it's, it's transformed. So comfort, um, compared to where we were, stacks of it. So this certainly looks like a facility that is set to provide benefits for both lifeboat volunteers and those who require their help. I'm Ed at Portishead's RNLI Lifeboat Station for Made in Bristol TV.